Hi, and welcome to this video on page layouts, where we will look at what a page layout is, why you need to create multiple page layouts with examples, and how to create them. A page layout is nothing but a module's form that consists of fields and sections with which you can capture information about a record, say, a deal or a contact. What you see here is a standard layout in the Leads module. You can modify an existing layout by editing these fields or adding more fields and sections as required. Alternatively, you can also create a new layout from scratch and add new fields and sections, then share it with a specific set of user profiles. Why would you need multiple layouts in the first place? Let's look at an example. Zilker Mart is an appliances company with two major divisions of their business, sales and service. The two divisions have their own set of people with different priorities who follow different processes. While the sales process involves receiving orders, checking stock, generating quotes, confirming the order, and delivery, the service protocol is different and involves receiving service requests and complaints, identifying the type of service, assigning a support engineer, and executing the service. These two processes involve different teams who collect different information from their customers. However, creating two different modules for sales and service in Zoho CRM might not really be the ideal solution here because whether it is an order for sales or service, it is treated as a business deal for Zilker. Also, managing two modules would mean data redundancy. While the two processes are different, there are some common steps involved in both the divisions, like doing a quality check, issuing a bill, and getting feedback. These different processes can be managed in Zoho CRM with page layouts by creating specific layouts for their sales and service divisions in the deals module. We'll see how to create them. Log into your Zoho CRM account. Go to Setup, Customization, Modules and Fields. From the list of all modules, go to the specific module that you wish to create a new layout. So we'll go to Deals, Hover over the three dots and click on Layout. The standard layout for Deals module appears by default. We are going to do the following for Zilker Mart. First, we will edit the standard layout for the Sales Division. Next, we will create a new layout for the Service Division. And finally, we're going to assign these layouts to the respective user profiles. Let's get started. To edit the standard layout, open the layout, Click the settings icon next to the layout name and choose rename. Specify sales and then save. When you are back at the layout editor, you can start editing the fields and sections. What you see here on the left is a fields tray with all the types of fields that are available for you to use. For example, let's look at how you can add a new field for product. It could be a pick list field, so drag and drop it into the layout in the deal information section. Enter the field label as product and specify the pick list options. Let's say microwave oven, refrigerator, washing machine, and television. Similarly, you can add fields like brand and model. Next, let's look at how you can add a new section for address information. I'm going to drag and drop a new section here on the layout editor. Name the section as address information and add fields for shipping address, city, and state, then billing address, city, and state. Remember to edit the deal stage pick list values to include the different stages based on the sales protocol. As you can see here, I have updated the deal stages in the sales layout to include order received, stock check, quote generated, order confirmed, quality check, order lost or canceled, bill issued, delivery, and feedback. Once you are done, click Save and Close. The sales layout is now ready. Next, let's look at how you can create a new layout for the service division from scratch. Click this Create New Layout link here. What you see here is a clone of the sales layout. Instead of creating a layout from scratch, you can modify this one. You can specify the title as Service, and then modify the fields to capture service-related information. You can add fields like service type, whether it is a free service or a paid service, issue, warranty details, if applicable, 
and service status. You might want to remove the shipping address related fields and simply call it address information. Remember to edit the deal stage picklist values to include the different stages based on the service protocol. Deal stages in service layout include complaint received, problem identified, support engineer assigned, service executed, quality check, and feedback. There you go. Once you have added all of your necessary fields and sections, you can click on Save and Close. Here, you will be prompted to select user profiles for which you want to assign this layout. You'd want to assign the service layout to the service reps and managers, so let's go ahead and choose the profiles accordingly, then hit Save. Okay, so now both the sales and service layouts are ready. Let's go back and take a closer look at assigning these layouts to specific user profiles. Click the Layout Assignment button. In the Layout Assignment window, all of your profiles will be listed along with the layouts that are shared for these profiles. To add the sales layout to the sales rep's profile, click the Add button here, and choose the sales layout from the Add Layout pop-up. Click Done, and as you can see, the sales layout is added for the sales rep's profile. Make sure you choose a default layout for all of your profiles. For example, while someone with an admin profile might hold access to all of the layouts that you create, you can choose one of these layouts, like Sales, to be the default layout whenever they access the module. As a manager, I have access to all of the layouts, and when I'm creating a new record, I can choose a particular layout from here to save the record. You can choose a specific layout when records are added through import or web forms. You can also apply layouts in your advanced filters custom views, and reports to filter records based on the specific layouts. You can even create workflow rules and apply other automation tools for records based on their layout. So there you go. Thank you for watching this video. For more information on Zoho CRM resources, please visit www.zoho.com crm resources.